communication is everywhere. We all need to communicate, and the better we communicate, the better the response. KK because, well, let's start from the very beginning. About a hundred years ago, my husband came and did his PhD based in Sepirok. So his heart's in this country, actually, a lot of it. There isn't much call for tropical ecologists in London. Whereas um, I write and I edit and I you know, teach and I do journalism and stuff, and that does travel. So that's that's what we decided, that we would come to other places and that I would always try and do something while I'm there. I'm not a very good expat wife. Mm. A long time ago, when I was little, um, my father said something about my great aunt Helen. Then my father said something, and I can't quite remember what it was, about how my grandfather fell in love with her first. Something like that. The story caught my imagination, and therefore I proceeded with that. Mm. I sat down and I wrote, and it took me forever. I took three years fiddling about because it's the most scary thing I've ever done, ever in my life. I said to my son, um, it's like standing in the middle of Piccadilly Circus waiting for people to throw tomatoes at you. And he just went, oh, get over yourself, mom. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, okay, I had better get over myself. Go for it. Be brave. You need to be aware that it's not easy. You need to have courage and you need to be determined. Be open to what offers. You know, you might suddenly do, I mean, I do lots of different things because I'm interested. I do voiceovers, I do writing, I do editing, I do training. Because at different times of my life, there's been a call for it, and communication is everywhere. Mm. So you can be flexible. I think it's getting what you want to say across to people in the way you want to say it. Communication is everywhere. We all need to communicate, and the better we communicate, the better the response. Um, it has to be a win-win. Everyone has to feel that they're listened to, and everyone has to feel that there's something in it for them. I think that's important. We are a generation where we can be a lot of things at one time. <laughs> of course, my main um, thing is being a mother mm -hmm. you know, and wife and a daughter. That goes without saying. Mm -hmm. But for, for the outside world, I'm, I consider myself like theater for development practitioner. Mm -hmm. Normally, I get called by uh, NGOs to facilitate, uh, say, something creative. You know, when they want to say, create awareness on domestic violence, mm -hmm. or child marriages, or even child rights, working with children. Sometimes um, it doesn't work when we just use paper and projector and sitting in a straight line. Mm -hmm. So we actually um, use games, theater games, mm -hmm. to unite and then bring out the individual. 
so that way those people who are not so um, uh, you know dominant mm -hmm. they get a chance to voice out there's no status everybody's equal because it's a safe space mm -hmm. so if you want to say something and you don't want to refer to yourself mm -hmm. but if it's too close to home you can use the stage At first, they didn't want to sit together. Like, oh no, you know, they, we can't sit with them. They, <laughs> like they're different from us. And they like, in the end, they were like holding hands and <laughs> singing. And that's only for a few hours. Just later, those who participated in that, uh, they came back to me and said it really affected them, changed the way they feel about others. So I don't know. I'm getting joyful. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the beauty of um, art and uh, theatre mm -hmm. and communication, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, communication is not only words, not only speaking, it's also listening and also being able to, to understand or get cues from body language. So I think it, it's important communication is crucial to create unity and understanding and empathy. Communication um, to me is a basic human right. <laughs> yeah. We've got film festivals, we've got um, creative, performing, all those different kinds of festivals. But the one gap that seemed to me as a newcomer was words and communication and English at a level to build people's confidence. Because we have so many stories here that needs to be told, mm -hmm. needs to be documented mm -hmm. and, and shared. So, if it's in English, then more people can you know, hear the story. I think confidence yeah. is yeah. what we want to offer. If you're an accountant looking for new clients, you go to conferences. Yeah. And if you get up on the phone, what's the point? In a perfect world, to give us no headaches, to know that everything is covered, mm -hmm. 80,000 would be completely wonderful. To be kind enough to um, give us more things in kind, then that cuts down the budget immediately. We'd like to be able to raise enough money to give spaces on these sort of workshops to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford them, perhaps. Mm -hmm. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is different. It hasn't been done before. Mm -hmm. So people may be cautious, but mm -hmm. we are both energetic, passionate people yeah. who care about it. Yeah. And we really want to make a go of this. And we're giving ourselves a year so that we can actually really put our backs into it. Mm -hmm. It's going to work with the right help. That's the point. We can't do it out of thin air. So really now, all we're saying is, We've got to get started yeah. now and we'd like some help.